Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, today I've seen a lot of users asking, how can I add a threshold or a target line in a pivot chart? So you notice this chart is a pivot chart. Um, and uh, there's three different ways to add a line um, into your pivot chart. First one, a lot of people know, you can simply just go and draw the line. So you can go um, up to your insert ribbon, you can go to shapes, you can add a line. Now, uh, the problems with this is if you move the chart, the line is off. Um, if you resize the chart, it could be off. Um, also, uh, what maybe you're not quite on 55,000. Maybe you're a little too low and people think it's 50,000, 53,000, something like that. So not probably the best, most uh, ideal solution. Uh, another way that you can do it is you can add an additional series uh, to your data structure. And so if I go into my pivot table, instead of just sales, I've added target with all the same value at 55,000. And if I go into my pivot table, and I go up to my analyze ribbon and I change my data source and uh, oh, looks like I have already added that as a part of the data source um, and so I've added column C to that data source I can now simply add it to my pivot chart if I click on the target and add it to my values um, I want to modify the values here by changing the number format to currency so that it looks better also, I don't want to do um, sum. I want to do an average because the average of 55,000 across the entire data set is going to stay 55,000. And uh, if I close all that, you'll notice that my average of the target is now uh, 55,000. If I need to, I can modify these labels and just say target, right? So sales target, something like that. Um, oh, looks like that already exists. Let's call it sales target. Sales target. Now when I go up to my insert ribbon and I create my pivot chart, you can see that I have an additional column of data or data series in my chart, the sales target, and then I can simply change this by going to my design ribbon, change chart type, and I can change the sales target to a line. And you now see I have a line of data. So if I end up changing this target to 58,000, and I put that across the whole way, and then I refresh my data in the pivot table. Uh, my line is now a lot closer up to uh, the 60,000 instead of being at 55, so it's an exact line reference there. And the third way that you can do it is if you don't want to add an additional series of data to your entire data set, which will add a lot of uh, bytes and bits to your file size, what you can do is create a calculated field. So uh, what I want to do is click within my pivot table, go up to my analyze ribbon, click on fields, items, and sets, and I'm going to click on calculated field. Now within this calculated field, I'm going to call something target, uh, sales target, whatever, and uh, in this, I'm just going to make a value of 55,000. Oops, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and click on add, and you'll notice that now it is a field within there and it has a value of 55,000. Um, so I've added that now to um, my pivot table. And if I go up to my insert ribbon, I can go ahead and create my chart right away with this. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know, I may want to actually uh, change some of the field information here as well for target. I can go to the uh, by changing that, I can change this to a number value, probably right click on it, value field settings, and I can change that. I can leave it as sum this time uh, because it should always equal 55,000. I can change my number format to currency, click on OK, and then within my pivot chart that I've created, I can simply click on the series, go up to uh, the design ribbon, do change chart type. And I can change target to a line instead of a column chart. So that is the third way to go about doing it. Now, if you need to modify your target as a calculated field, you'll need to click within your chart, go to the Analyze button, do the field items and sets, and click on the calculated field. Now, you'll want to do is you can click on all of these down here in the fields area, but you're not able to change it. What you need to do is you need to click on the name up at the top you'll see target is an item that you can now choose. And we can change this to 65,000 and then click on modify, click on okay. 
you'll notice that line has now moved within our pivot table. I don't need to modify a whole huge range of series. I don't need to move my line from a shape. I can simply modify that as a calculated field. So three different ways that you can create a line within a pivot chart. Hopefully you found this uh, educational and uh, you can use this in your own dashboards. Uh, would love for you to subscribe to Excel Dashboard Templates video channel, as well as head on over to the website so that you're sure to get other great posts, tips, tricks, and techniques like you saw here.